<laughs> and I think that's good. What's up, guys? I uh, just wanted to come on here this lovely Thursday afternoon. Uh, I'm actually packing for a trip to Seattle, so please excuse uh, just kind of the, the more casual or candid setup. Um, but I wanted to come on here and talk about casual, I uh, wanted to talk about shallow goals. Uh, just shallow goals that are alive, shallow goals that we may set ourselves up for. Um, hold on one second. And yeah, I think that's good. Um, so as I was saying, shallow goals uh, are attractive because they're easily attainable. Um, the fear of failure is, is only curated by how we determine failure to be. Sorry if my chair is squeaking. <laughs> I heard it in an interview once uh, by a businesswoman whose father would ask her and her brother at the dinner table uh, while growing up um, what they had failed at that day. And if they had nothing to say, then he was disappointed. Uh, he was, uh, well, little did she know that at that time, uh, he was reshaping how they would think about failure. And if they didn't fail, then they weren't trying anything new. Now, I don't completely agree with the way that he went about uh, reshaping uh, this failure, but he did do it, you know, with a loving attitude and, and that, you know, is something to be had. So, you know, that being said, you know, what have, what have, uh, what has failure reshaped in your life? You know, how has it changed your outlook? Do you have a fearful uh, outlook or a nonchalant outlook? Uh, the temptation of shallow goals are real and when you know that you're capable of more but you fear you know the struggle you have the fear of failure or the fear of missing out then it's it is real and we typically are have already been trained to be able to achieve what problems we're going to go through to attain maturity in what god has planned for us the willingness to apply that training is what differentiates you tomorrow and today. Like any business uh, or plan, you know, business plan, game plan, um, you have levels of achievements that you're going to be biting off and into smaller pieces, rather trying to just flip a switch and, and make it, you know, like it's going to be a reality tomorrow. Reassurance. You know, it's, I can't help but just think that, you know, or be reminded of God's character when I talk about this, how he has different ways of training us and, and making us mature. But one thing is certain is that even when we arrive in the promised land, that there is still work to be done. Many people can attain success, but more often than not, they don't maintain it. They can attain it, but they can't maintain it. And possibly why so many people view failure as a negative thing. They don't want to forgive themselves. They don't stop mourning over the defeat and just get back to work. Not only is their maintenance, you know, of the journey important, but even more important, the maintenance of the land when we arrive or when you arrive. <laughs> Israel didn't fall, you know, overnight, but slowly being deceived, they drifted away uh, by the lack of discipline of maintaining their heart, maintaining the idols from the land that they would eventually fall into uh, or they fell over and over again. This might be for another video, but danger of complacency lingers at the point of arrival. Though sometimes failure, or at least our categorized idea of failure, is what holds us back from achieving deep and meaningful goals, even in our walk with God, and yes, 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 there is effort. Can we learn to take a step back, looking at the big picture and break a goal into pieces, looking at the real obstacles? Is it our skill or is it just self getting in the way? Regardless, how we view failure will always give shape to the decisions we make and even keep us in a shallowly decisive life. Let me know your thoughts. Um, <laughs> I guess you guys are coming to an end, but, um, you know, does this make sense? You know, um, is there something, uh, holding you back? You know, put it in the comments below. I know that could be like some, uh, some, um, some deep stuff and you don't have to share that, but just, you know, I hope you did grab value from this. This was a kind of a quick video before we, uh, we take off to, um, Seattle in the morning, but, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. You know, I hope, uh, we can just kind of talk about this as a short video and, and uh, we can just bounce ideas back and forth. Um, shallow goals has just really been something that's been on my heart. 
And uh, yeah, again, I just hope that, that you guys really grab some value from this. Um, and uh, if you did, I do ask that you would. If you haven't already, subscribe and just hit that like button. That way it lets me know. And, and um, you know, if you guys are grabbing value from this and, and just all that good jazz. So um, yeah, until next time, ciao.